Yeah, but it's pretty amazing what 50 pounds will buy you. Why doesn't mine look like that? Hey guys and girls, welcome to a new car. A new car, yes, a new car. This one here, it's a Peugeot 306 Estate, uh, 1997, uh, 150,000 miles. Uh, never been serviced in 16 years. Oil has only ever been topped up. It's never been drained and renewed. It's starting to rain now, which is great, so I want to do an oil change on it. This car's been stood all night. And the dipstick is still varnished. Highly, highly varnished. Also, the oil level is below the minimum mark as well, which is nice. Yes, and I have been driving it around like that. Because today is the day I'm going to do the oil change on it. Now I'm not going to go all out and do engine flushes on it at this precise moment in time. The oil I've got in the car, which I've, you know, which I've just gone out and got, it's the cheapest crap I can get. It's it's horrific oil. I, I would never dream of using it in a car long term. I'm just literally using it to put in this engine to dilute some of the crap around, you know, inside it. Um, the idea is that uh, after 100 or so miles. I will then add a whole can of engine flush to this thing, the whole can, um, run it uh, to, uh, to, to work and back, I know you're not supposed to but I'm going to, this, if this engine's got any damage it's already happened, uh, believe me the engine starts and runs fine, I'm not going to run it because all the oil is at the bottom of the, of the engine at the moment, and then what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to uh, Close the door, so I'm coming down with a pram, or push chair, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm just going to, um, you know, run it, and then uh, give, give, give it the flush, it should be good. Yeah, it looks like the air filter was changed when um, all them other parts were bought for it, it's because it's an easy job. You've not even really got to jack the car up to do it. Uh, air filter still looks in pretty good condition, so I'm not going to bother changing that. It's not got any dirt on it or, you know, it's got a few spots but here and there, but I mean, come on, that's, that's still in pretty good nick, that. So I'm not going to bother changing that for now. Yeah, it doesn't look like that oil filter's been changed for a while. I wonder how much of a bugger it is going to be to get off. We'll see what Mr. Chain Wrench can do, shall we? It should do some damage. Okay, it started to rain, which is nice. First things first. Always rains when I start working on cars. Right, this is uh, all cracked off. wasn't as tight as I was thought it was going to be. Let's see what this oil looks like when it comes out of this thing. I'll have to jack the car up a little bit. It's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought this oil was going to be pretty horrific. <clears throat> Let's try and get the camera so it looks at the oil nicely. At least there's no wind, which is nice. Nothing, nothing worse than trying to drain oil out when it's windy. So the sump's got a few nice uh, dents in it there. <laughs> I actually thought this would be a um, aluminium sump on this car, but it's actually made out of steel, which is uh, interesting. I wonder if that is something that um, the later XUDs had, uh, or certain XUDs had. Hmm. I'm actually quite impressed that the oil doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to look. I thought it would have all bits in it, you know, globby, uh, like, like jelly to look at. You know, is what happens when you mix lots of different oils together, which of course this has just had different top-ups every now and then, that's what you thought it would be like. There we go, it's actually drained out 
pretty much all the way there. It's a lot more runny than I thought it was going to be as well. Normally when oil gets old, it gets really sticky. But this doesn't seem so bad. I mean, I wouldn't use it, you know. <laughs> it's old oil. But there, there you go. A bit annoyed at the fact this sump is designed in such a way that um, it drops down this side so that all the oil drains here. Unless there's an oil drain there, which... No, there's not. You thought have thought that would be the lowest point, so that's where the oil would drain from, but no. Oil drains from up here. So you have to jack the car up so it's pretty much on its side to drain the oil out. In fact, I bet if I jack this car up some more, the oil would drain out some more. I'll put the uh, camera down for this. I'm being naughty and just using the jack, uh, not an axle stand. But uh, I'm not putting myself under the car, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna kill myself. And I'll remo be, be removing the oil filter from the um, from the top of the engine, I think. Bloody hell, it's typical, isn't it? Look, look at this bloody rain. My tools are getting soaked. As soon as I do any work on a car, it's either massively windy or massively rainy. It's just my luck. Anyway, I'll leave that to drain and I'll get this oil filter off. <clears throat> See what mess I can make with that. Hopefully it'll be on, uh, on hand tight. Uh, let's see, up there, look. Well, I'll be doing that from the top because there's much more room from the top. Okay. <sighs> let's do this. Oh, rain, rain, go away. Come back in about 30 minutes or something. <sighs> I'm soaked. Well, that's it. Oh, sorry to cut this video a little short, but God, it's not nice out here. That's the state of the oil that's come out of it. It's pretty yucky stuff. Look at it. Not nice. And there is lumps in the bottom of it as well, which is, you can see like, the different layers of it. Gross. Right, I'm going to go in now. I'm cold and wet. <laughs> and I'm going to go and try and dry myself. Okay, let's see how much of a mess we can make with this, shall we? It's a pretty bad oil in there. Lovely. And I think what we're going to do <coughs> is we'll leave that in here. Try and get all that oil to drain into the corner. Or you can drain it again and just wipe it out of a rag. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> Alright guys and girls, thanks for watching. Peace out.